What is going on, Lamos? Dylan, aka Ducks here, bringing you the Pokemon Platinum Randomizer Nuzlocke. I've never played through the fourth generation, and uh, that's kind of a problem I feel like I needed to fix. So we're gonna go ahead and play through Platinum version Randomized. I'm sure a lot of you are gonna be yelling at me in the comments because I know nothing about the storyline or the plot or anywhere to go in this game. So it's gonna be fun, especially since everything's randomized. Uh, I'll just be extra confused. Whoa, hey. We ain't trying to go back to that. We ain't trying to go back to that screen, boy. Come on. All right. So, <laughs> anyway, we're gonna get right on into it. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna do any sort of uh, you guys choose my starter thing or anything like that. I don't really feel like I have a big enough following to be warranting doing that. So I'm just gonna pick it myself, and uh, we'll go through there. Maybe y'all will get to name a Pokemon in the comment section as we go. But we're just gonna kind of play it by the seat of our pants. Hello. My name is Rowan. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before I go any further, is this your first adventure? If you need advice, I'm certainly capable of giving it. Uh, oh no! I don't, bruh, bruh, I don't even have those buttons, so I'm using a keyboard, bruh. Oh my god. So we already started it and I already misclicked. Uh, touch a button on the screen. D can I just, do I, do I actually have to like click? I just clicked. I used my mouse and clicked. That was so weird. Cool. Um, great start to this. Uh, great start to this playthrough, Dylan. You're doing a uh, you do a real good job. I don't, am I pressing the right button? Is he asking me something else? Come on. Oh my god, guys. Seriously. Come on. Do you understand everything? That's what he was asking me. I was saying no. Like, do you need more? Uh, let's just forget that happened. Okay. That did. That's not in. You didn't see nothing. You didn't see nothing. Would you like to know more about anything else? This time we're going to say no and info needed. Please. This world is wi widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Here, I have a Pokeball. Touch the button on the middle of the Pokeball if you'd please. No, 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 no. Not that button. The button on the Pokeball. So I guess I'm going to be clicking a lot in this, guys. So, so don't mind me. Hey, it's a little Baneary. We humans will live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together, and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. What do I do? I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. Okay, bruh. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Well, are you a boy or are you a girl? Ah, uh, last I checked, I'm a boy. Alright, so you're a boy. More like a man. Tell me, what is your name? So, I doubt I can actually use the keyboard, so I guess we're gonna click here. So let's just go with the classic... Ducks. <laughs> As I'm known on the internet. <laughs> your name is Ducks. Yes. Yes, it is. Uh... Wait. Wait, did I, did I really go back? I keep pressing the B button instead of the A button. Okay, there we go. Let's try this again. Guys, I'm getting used to the controls, don't mind me. Exciting stuff, I know. Your name is Ducks, yes it is. Okay, so you're Ducks, a fine name that is. Now, this boy here, I believe he is your friend. What might his name be? Hmm. He looks kinda like a Joey Wheeler. Um... But just for fun, we're gonna- You know what, he's kinda, he's kind of a blonde guy, like the fourth gen gamer. So, what we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna name him Josh, uh, named after the 4th Gen Gamer. Shouts out, check out his channel if you get the chance. Alright, Josh is our rival. Josh, is it? That's your friend's name? Yes. Alright, ducks, the time has come. Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. On your journey, you will meet countless Pokémon and people. I'm sure that along the way you will discover many things, perhaps even something about yourself. Now, go on, leap into the world of Pokémon. Chabra. We shrank on down, boy. Pokémon are by our side, always. I hope you will understand the meaning of those words. That was the comment left by Professor Rowan, who has returned to Sinnoh from the Kanto region. Swag. That concludes our special program, Let's Ask Professor Rowan, brought to you by the Jubilife TV on Nationwide Net. See you next week, same time, same channel. 
I'm your host, Killer Kingstar, signing out. All right, oh, hey, it's Josh, what up, bruh? <laughs> there you are. Hey, Ducks, did you just see the TV? Sure you did. Professor Rowans. That's, that's a really important guy who studies Pokemon, right? That means he must have lots and lots of Pokemon. So if we ask him, I bet he'd give us some Pokemon. Whoa, bro. Oh, hey, is this a new PC? Huh. Why, yes, it is. Uh, where was I? Oh, right, right. We're gonna go see the Professor Rowan and get him some Pokemon. I'll be waiting outside. Okay, Ducks, if you're late, I'm finding you 10 million Poke Dollars. Bruh, get out here with that, boy. That Josh, he's always after my money. My YouTube money. <laughs> Alright, let's head on downstairs. Hey, little mama. I mean, like, mom, or... Ducks, Josh already left. I don't know what it was about, but he sure was in a hurry. Alright, well, I'm gonna follow him. I'm gonna follow, I'm gonna follow his butt around on over to the, to the, the uh, professor place. Oh, yes, ducks. Don't go into the tall grass. Wild Pokemon might attack you. It would be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't, so, well, take care then, sweetie. Again, friends, this is a randomizer. So, I've randomized uh, a lot of the TMs, a lot of the, uh, well, it's weird how there's, like, these black speckles on the screen as you walk. The TMs, the Pokemon, all that stuff. And, again, I have no idea where I'm going, so forgive me, please. Uh, is there any kind of speed up button? Is holding down space speed up? No, I doubt it. I'm gonna have to look into that in between episodes, but there might there might be some sort of speed up button. I don't think it's gonna be this one. I think it's gonna be this one. This looks proper. So, oh. <laughs> what was that about? Oh, hey, ducks. Hey, I'm gonna go see a Professor Rowan. You should come too, and quickly. Oh, geez, forgot something. All right. Well, should I go in there? I guess I'm gonna go in. Uh, let's go upstairs. Let's see what let's see what Josh's place is like. Check out that swag pad. I better take my bag and, and journal too. Oh, hey ducks. Uh, I'll I'll be waiting on the road. That's a ten million dollar fine if you're late. Always after my YouTube money, bruh. Come on, man. My fifteen hundred subscribers just you know making that cash, that fifty cents a month YouTube kind of money. You know what I mean? Saucing on them, you know? Saucing on all them haters. So I assume we're going this way. Again, never played this generation before, so cut me some slack. Too slow! Alright, let's get moving to Professor Rowan's lab. Hmm. What? Don't go in the, the, the tall grass, right? No worries, no problem. It doesn't matter if we don't have any Pokemon. Trust me, I've, on this one, I've got an idea. Now listen, you know how wild Pokemon jump out when you go into the tall grass? So what you do is you scoot over to the next patch of grass before any wild Pokemon can appear. If we just keep dashing, we can get to the Sand Gym Town without running into the wild Pokemon. Okay, stick with me. Okay, here it goes. On your marks! Hold it! Oh, I think I know who that is. You two so don't seem to have any Pokemon between you. Then what is the meaning of going into the tall grass? Hey, hey Dutz, this old guy. Uh, it's Professor Rowan, isn't it? What's he What's he doing here? They tried to go in the tall grass because they wanted Pokemon. What to do? The world would surely change if they were to meet Pokemon. Is it right for me to put them on? You two, you truly love Pokemon, don't you? Uh, cha. Me too, I love Pokemon too. I will ask you once again. You two, you truly love Pokemon, don't you? What? You, you can ask a hundred times, the answer will never change. We'll both answer a hundred times, we love Pokemon. R right, Dex? Yeah, bruh. A uh, pair of reckless kids who foolishly try to enter the tall grass without Pokemon of their own. It worries me what people would think of to do, to do, like I'm with Pokemon. Why? <laughs> well, the, I don't know who's talking right now. Well, then forget about me, but give a Pokemon to my friend here. I think it's Josh. I mean, it was me who tried to go in the tall grass and all. Ah, how big of you. Very well then, I will entrust you two with Pokemon. I apologize for you for putting you through that exercise. However, you must promise me that you will never recklessly endanger yourselves again. Now then, hmm, now where? Hmm. Oh! Who's this? 
Uh, Professor Rowan, you left your briefcase at the lake. Oh, something wrong here? Ah, oh, there it is. Darn, nice work. What I was about to do was entrust these two with their very own Pokemon. Uh, pardon? These Pokemon are very hard to replace. Are you sure about giving them away? Wait, no. Those Pokemon are very hard to replace. Are you sure about giving them away? Hmm. We exist side by side with Pokemon. There comes a time when people should meet Pokemon. There is a world that should be explored together. For them, today is that time. The place right here. I hope Josh gets a Piplup. I honestly do. Go on, open the briefcase and choose a Pokemon. All right, so here we go, ladies and gents. I'm gonna pick this on my own. I'm not gonna do a choose our starter episode. This is just gonna be how it goes, okay? So bear with me. All right. Really? <laughs> Professor Rowan, I can't believe it. I'm so happy right now that I can't keep a straight face. Hey, ducks, you can choose first. Hey, I'm practically a gr grown up. I have to show some class here. All right, so I guess I'm gonna choose a Pokemon. What are our options going to be? These should be randomized. All three of them. <laughs> Alright. I'm looking for some power. Give me a far-fetched. <laughs> Give me a far-fetched, bruh. Look, there are Pokeballs. There's a Pokemon in each one. Now choose. Which Pokemon will it be? <laughs> no way. Are you serious? <laughs> Renegade Pokemon Giratina. Holy crap. I don't think I don't think it's gonna be any of these. Coughing <laughs> or Swalot. I feel like the choice is obvious here. Should I just take the dang Giratina? Because I feel like I, I feel like that's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Like, don't get me wrong, I love me some wheezing. I really do. It can learn like fire blast and thunder and all that stuff, but how often do you get to use a Giratina as a freaking starter Pokemon? Holy crap. Um, all right, yeah, I'm just gonna go with Giratina. Yes, please. <laughs> I don't know, uh, definitely not Swalot, but jeez. <laughs> oh my god, I'm seriously freaking out right now. All right. <laughs> oh man, we're gonna destroy. Then, then I choose you, I'm picking this one. Very well, both of you have chosen a- <laughs> I can't stop smiling right now. Chosen a good Pokemon, it seems. Now listen well, the Pokemon you've been entrusted with are unfamiliar with the world. In that regard, they're much like you. As fellow newcomers to the world, I hope you'll do well together. If you have any trouble, come see me at my lab in Sam Jim Town. And now, we'll be on our way. Oh my god, guys. And I forgot to mention, uh, static encounters like legendaries and stuff, I randomized to where it can just be any Pokemon, so it's not guaranteed to be a legendary. So, again, anything could show up at any time, as you've seen by my starter choice. So I guess we'll roll with it. Professor, wait for me, please. Uh, I'm sorry, please let me pass. Okay, I think I'm gonna be fine up, up against whatever pops out of these grass here. How do you like that? Professor Rowan's really nice. On TV, he seems so stern and scary. I guess we're gonna battle? <clears throat> <laughs> Ducks, we both got Pokemon now. There's only one thing to do, right? Are you up for this? What's with the attitude? Don't be that way. Oops, I accidentally hit. No. I've got these buttons backwards, I swear, guys. I've always wanted to say this. The time has finally come. Ducks, I challenge you to a battle! All right. I, I, I think he, fit, he picked the Swallow. I'm not sure. I also have the settings put to where he'll keep his starter the whole up like the whole series long. So we did take the coughing. And here we are with the box art Pokemon Giratina. Uh I guess just Dragon Breath him, yeah. <laughs> if this doesn't one hit KO. It doesn't, wow. What in the that <laughs> another Dragon Breath will take this coughing out and uh and that ought to do it. Get wrecked, bruh. Giratina gained 121 EXP. We're gonna level up. Level six Giratina. How often do you get to see that? Swimmer Josh. What are you saying? Duck's got 500 bucks for winning. Whew, let's go home. I'm beat after that battle. My Pokemon needs rest too. See ya, Ducks. My goodness, guys. I feel like I always get garbage starters too, so this is really freaking awesome. Alright. What's the matter, dear? 
Wow, what happened to you? You and Josh are lucky to have met Professor Rowan. Imagine if you didn't. I wouldn't like to think that the wild Pokemon might have done to you two. Ducks, go see Professor Rowan and thank him properly for your Pokemon. His lab is in Sand Gym Town, isn't it? Now that you have your own Pokemon, the tall grass won't be so threatening. All right. Oh, I know, Ducks. Put these on. Ducks received a pair of running shoes. <laughs> Uh, with those running shoes, you can go to the, far the faraway places much faster. Okay, let me read the instru instructions. Press the B button and dash about faster than ever before. Put on the running shoes and blaze new trails of adventures. Well, isn't that just nifty? Uh, is it... Which one's B button? I am so... I'm so confused about these two. This is what... Okay, I, I got it now. B is on the left. Okay. Um, do I... Wait, did she say to go or go to Professor Rowan? I don't remember where she said to go. Holy smokes, uh, this is Josh's place. Uh, I think it's- I think it's somewhere that's not in this town, so... Hopefully I'm not missing out on anything. There's Josh again. Too slow, ducks, I'm sick of waiting. I'm gonna go see Professor Rowan so I can thank him properly. So, I had a great idea. Listen up, okay? You know that lake where we always play at? You know, they say a legendary Pokemon lives there. You guessed it, let's catch that Pokemon! That'll make Professor Rowan happy, I'm sure of that. Me and you together, we've got nothing to fear. <laughs> Right on, bro. Alright, so I guess he's following me. Um... Hey, ducks, I said the, the lake's not that way. Oh, which way is it? Uh, well, Not trying to read all that. I guess it's this way. So we're gonna run on over to Verity Lakefront. On upstairs! Alright, we're at the lake. Get ready, because we're capturing that legendary Pokemon. Trust me on this one, it's a sign- It- It's here, it even says so on the sign. Yeah, like- Like any Pokemon game, you're ever gonna catch a legendary right off the bat. Ugh. Ugh. What's going on? Who's that? The flowing time. The expanding space. I will make it all mine one day. Cyrus is my name. Remember it. Until then, sleep while you can. Legendary Pokemon of the Lake Bed. Okay. Allow me to pass. Step aside. Alright, I don't know anyone who talks like that, but I don't think I can trust that guy. What was that about? Weird guy. Huh. Okay, ducks, let's catch that legendary Pokemon. I think we heard it. Uh, did you hear that, ducks? That was a legendary Pokemon crying. That had to be it. Okay, this is our chance. Let's catch it. Wait, what? We don't have anything. You know, you know Pokeballs? P O K accent E balls? If we don't have those, we can't catch Pokemon and nothing to take nothing around with us and nothing! Do you think Professor Rowan would give us some if we asked him? You know, you remember what he said, don't you? He said to visit him at his lab if we haven't needed anything. Okay, ducks, I'll race you! First one of the professor's lab in San Jim Town rules! Bring it, bruh. You're probably gonna beat me, though. You already got the jump on me. You got the leg up, you got the foot ahead of me. Uh, by the way, lock doesn't start until we get Pokeballs, guys. Uh... Also, I wanted to say, it feels very good to be back playing Pokemon again. It's been a hot minute, guys. I moved to KC. Uh, I've been not recording any gameplay of anything. Uh, except for I tried to do Splatoon. I did one episode and then I kind of gave up on it. I might go revisit it, though. I don't know. One of those things. Uh, just didn't feel all that excited to play it. But maybe, maybe just maybe it'll be fun if I get back into it. But regardless, good to be back on the Pokemon front. I am wanting to branch out and play some other games eventually. I just, you know, don't really know what. I do have Steam and I got this sick new computer, so I'll be able to play some good games on this thing. I'll star you in the, gla the grass. Okay, cool. And I do have the settings put to where, um... I'm just gonna run. Where any... Anything... What was that? What am I even trying to say? Wait, Lord. Yeah, like you aren't gonna see that in that short little grass. I have the settings to where every area only has a certain amount of Pokemon. Like it replaces whatever Pokemon was there with a specific other one in each area instead of every single encounter you go to will be randomized. So I, I kind of prefer playing that way. Just me though. Uh, let's do this. Man, I might have to switch the button configuration because I keep getting A and B flipped around. Oh, there you are. Please come with me, the professor is waiting. This is it, our, our Pokemon research lab, let's go. <laughs> what the, oh, it's you ducks. 
that old guy, he's not scary so much as he is totally out there. Oh, it doesn't matter, ducks. I'm out of here. See you later. All right. Wow. <clears throat> Wow! What was that? Your friend sure seems to be really impatient. Well, anyway, let's go inside. All right. What do we got in here? Well, well, look who's here. Ducks, was it? Let's have a look at your Pokemon. Well, well, you've made your Pokemon evolve up. I don't think I have. Hmm, interesting you with that gear. <laughs> what would a Giratina evolve into or evolve from? Hmm, interesting. Interesting you with that Giratina was no mistake, it seems. Well, would you like to give it a nickname? I feel like we have to, yeah? Yeah. So what are we gonna nickname this Giratina? I feel like it just makes sense to call it Gary because Gary the Giratina, I don't know. It feel, it just feels like a dorky, goofy name that would suit it. So we're going to go with Gary, G-A-R-Y. It's cool how you can just click the screen on this and, it, and it's like a, a DS is. I like that. Hmm, I see. And you're happy with that nickname? Yes, I am. When I first saw you two about to step in that tall grass without Pokemon, I was shocked. I was astounded by these foolhardy children. But now you've astounded me in an entirely different way. Already there's a bond growing between you and that Pokemon. I feel privileged to have met you. I'm sure Giratina feels the same way about you. That's why I'll ask you to cherish that Giratina of yours. I'm so glad that you're kind towards Pokemon. If you weren't, I'd have to. Oh, I just can't say it. She'd have to whoop that A. Ahem. <clears throat> Let's move on to the main topic. There is something I want you to do for me. Allow me to properly introduce myself first. My name is, as you know, my name, as you know, is Professor Rowan. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want to know exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. To do so, it is necessary to collect data using the Pokedex. This is what I wish to ask of you. I want to entrust you with this Pokedex. Will you use it to record data on all the Pokemon in Sinnoh for me? Hmm, good answer. I got the Pokedex, bruh. It will automatically record data on every kind of Pokemon you encounter. Ducks, I ask that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon in this region. I've got one too! When you walked up Route 201 with your Pokemon, what did you feel? I've lived for about 60 long years. Even now I get a thrill when I'm with a Pokemon. Now you should know that there are countless Pokemon in this world. That means that there are just as many thrills waiting you out there. Now go, ducks. Your grand adventure begins right now. The Pokemon that I met for the first time was a Chimchar. If you would have chosen a Chimchar on Route 201, we'd have the same Pokemon now. Not that it matters, but anyway, I'm done. I also help the professor add pages to the Pokédex. So in a sense, I'm just like you. I just got a little head start on you, that's all. I'll be happy to teach you things. Glad to meet you, ducks. Well, all right then. I guess uh, I guess that does it for us. Uh, hmm. Ducks! I should say. I have something good here. You should take this as well. TM27, this should be randomized, so who knows what it could be. That's a technical machine, the one that contains the move return. Using a technical machine, or TM for short, teaches a move instantly to a Pokemon. Bear in mind, however, that the TM is single use only. The move return gains power the more friendly your Pokemon is with you. It's up to you, of course, if you want to use that TM or not. I'll send you off with, with the wish that your journey will be fun. Okay, so again, um, oh wow. I didn't know the professor had TMs. Was he a trainer when he was young? Okay, Ducks, I'll act as your mentor. We got a bit more experience than you as a trainer and the professor's assistant. Okay, follow me. Uh, what I was gonna say is the TMs are only single use in this game and that TM should not be returned. It should be randomized to something else. We'll check that as soon as we're done talking here. This building with the red roof is the Pokemon Center. It's the place that heals Pokemon that have been hurt in battle. You can find a Pokemon Center in most towns. The building with the blue roof over here is the Pokemart. It's a shop where you can buy and sell items and medicine. Ducks, since you're a novice trainer, you won't be able to buy many kinds of merchandise. Don't let it bother you. Oh, that's right, Ducks. Don't you need to let your family know that you're going to be helping Professor Rome with the Pokedex? You may need to go far away, uh, so I think you should let someone know. Oh, but before you go, heal up your Pokemon at the Pokemon Center. It'll be a lot less scary that way. Okay, bye now. 
Uh, so I guess she's telling us to go back home. Is that what she's saying? I guess. I don't know. Um, but yeah. Let's see. Let's go ahead and heal our Pokemon. Our single Pokemon. We'll check this TM. Let's see. Oh, no! It's the worst. All right, so we're going to step outside right out here in front. And we're going to click start. I think we are. Do we even have the option to hit start? How do you... Is it not even, it's not even letting us access the bag yet? I guess it's not letting us access our bag. Let's go back home. I don't think I have Pokeballs still, so we're good. Let's see what, you know what, let's, let's avoid that grass just for fun. And uh, let's see if there's something happening at home, because she said to go back home and talk to our parents or something. I, so I'm just going to trust the game's suggestion here. Uh, let's see. Uh, take a quick rest here, blah, blah, blah. Okay, what is it? Wow, Professor Rowan asked you to do something that big? Okay, dear, go for it. Your mom's got your back. Oh, I know, Ducks. I've got something that you'll find useful. Ducks, obtain the journal. That's the journal. It keeps a record of your daily events. Check it and you'll be able to remember what you did last. Plus, you're not alone. You have your Pokemon with you. I wish I could go instead. I'm just joking, dear. Yep, Ducks. I'll be okay by myself. You go out and enjoy your adventure. When you're exposed to new things and experience new sensations, it makes your mother happy too. But come back sometimes. I would like to see the kinds of Pokemon you've caught, dear. Oh, who's this? Josh's mom. Excuse me, is my little Josh here? <laughs> That's gonna be his mom's voice. Oh, no, no he's not. Oh, then he must have left already. What to do? That boy shouted about going on an adventure, and then he bolted. He's so headstrong and reckless. I at least wanted him to take this. Not to worry, Ducks. Will you deliver that to him? Won't you? Won't you, Ducks? I, I think he's still here talking. Oh, really? You do that for me? Ducks, please take this to Josh for me. We got a parcel that we're going to take over to our boy, Josh. Bye-bye, Ducks. Enjoy your adventure. Let me think. Knowing my boy, he probably left his head straight towards Juba Life City. Okay, please take that to my Josh. All right, are we about done with the beginning of the game? Crap, because we are rolling up on 30 minutes recording time here. Uh, do we still not have access to the bag? I don't think we do. I'm pushing start on the keyboard, and at least I believe. The game might pause here for a second. I'm going to check my configurations. Um, let's see. Control config. Yes, I do have enter as my start button, so that shouldn't... There must be something we have to do. You know what? Screw it. Let's have an extended first episode and let's go find Josh in Jubilife, which I believe would be back this way. And we get an encounter, even though it's not the one that we're going to catch. Whale Award! That would be neat. I would also like the Starmie. Well, the Star U. That would evolve into a Starmie eventually, but I don't know. We'll take what we can get. There might even be a third encounter in here, but it's not likely. So, back to Jubilife. Is that is that what that town that we were just in is called? Is that Jubilife? Or... Sounds like some sort of like adult health beverage. Sand Gym Town. Okay. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and go on up this way. Route 202. So this probably goes to... I don't know. Does this say anything? Sand Gym Town? Uh, I don't know if that's a trainer. Oh, that's Don. Oh, that's right. Ducks, I haven't shown you how to catch a Pokemon. I'll demonstrate how to catch one, so just watch me, okay? <sighs> this crap. <laughs> I did put it in the randomizer to where, like, it'll be a... Yeah, I was gonna say, it's gonna be a random Pokemon that shows up, so it's kind of funny. Tentacle on the grass, whatever. That's all we've had is water Pokemon in the grass. What's up with that? Star you and Waylord and... And Tentacle. So, we're gonna sit back and watch this. Pretty much as soon as we're able to hit the start button and check our bag, I think I'm going to end the episode. I don't know when that'll be. But we're right around the 30 minute mark here, no worries. Uh, but yeah, this will probably be... I don't really, I'm not really going to have a set uh, schedule on this series. It's pretty much just going to be as much as I can. I'm going to try and do daily, but I don't know. We'll just see what happens. So Probably daily, if, if not every other day. Uh, I've just wanted to get back into recording something regularly, and as far as I know, Gen 4 is a pretty long playthrough anyway, so this should be going for a while. <laughs> See? Isn't that neat? Actually, it's better to lower your target's HP more than I did. It's important to get the Pokémon's HP down as low as possible. This is because a healthy Pokémon is very difficult to catch. Oh, Pokémon also get easier to catch if you make them sleep or something by using a Pokémon move. 
Okay, ducks. To get you started, I'll give you five Pokeballs. We got the Pokeballs. Uh, that means we can get encounters and the lock has started. Okay, I need to get going. Bye now. So the question is, should I go back to route one? I guess I, I guess I gotta go back to route one and get our encounter there. I probably need to write this down as I go too because I'm not gonna, 201, okay, that's what it is. I'm probably not gonna remember the encounters that we get, so. Our 201 encounter is, Star you. I actually prefer that over the uh, Waylord, so I'm not mad. Let's go, Gary, and what we're gonna do is we're probably just gonna go ahead and just throw a Pokeball, see what happens. Likely we'll be able to catch this thing right away. I don't know, we'll see. I'm just scared of how much, you know, a legendary Pokemon's gonna do damage-wise. So it, di it did one shake. Um, let's go ahead and we'll try one more ball. It didn't seem to work well, but we'll try one more. And if not, we're gonna go ahead and try Dragon Breath. Seeing what it did to uh, the coughing, it probably won't faint this thing. Okay, we don't even need to. We caught the Staryu. <clears throat> Staryu's data was added to the Pokedex. <coughs> Excuse me, just swallowing <coughs> whatever lump that is in my throat. If its body is torn, it can grow back if the red core remains. The core flashes at midnight. Give a nickname to the caught Staryu, yes. Um... That's the sound it, it, it makes whenever I scratch my beard. Alright, so star you! I kinda just like, um... I don't know, this is not creative in the least bit. But I kinda just like Ryu. If not like Ryuk. Let's do Ryuk! I like that. Ryuk the star you is here! Kind of a, I don't know if I spelled that right, but that's a uh, Death Note reference. Plus, you know, Star Ryu, Star Ryuk, uh, you know, one of those things. So let's, uh, we don't even need to heal that bad boy, because we, we, we done caught him. We done caught him, it ain't no thing. S time to see what Route 202 has in store for us. I don't know if it's going to be a Tentacool or if that was just, you know, a specific uh, thing for that animation. But our Route 202 encounter. I guess that's dupe, so I'm not going to catch it. Gary the Giratina is here. Uh, let's just go ahead and run. We're just gonna go ahead and run. Because that would be duplicates. Let's just continue along the route. Route 2 and 2 encounter is... Ooh! Rampardos! Baby, we got some power going with this team. I like that. Gary is in exerting his pressure. Alright, so... Let's do this. Ah oh, man, let's let's switch out. Let's switch out into Ryuk, just because I think Gary's gonna overpower this thing. We'll see what this thing could do. Hopefully, it doesn't have Head Smash or something weird. I don't think it would be at this low of level. All right, so he's gonna leer us. Our defense falls. Let's hit him with a uh, tackle and see what happens. Oh my god, he's just gonna sit here dropping our defense. I don't even know if I should stay in at this point, because Tackle's not doing anything. He's just going to keep lowering my defense, and then, um, and then we're going to faint. Maybe I should just try chucking a ball at it. I doubt we're going to catch a Rampardos just like willy-nilly with a Pokeball, but also I need to move my cursor off the screen. You can totally see that. All right, so let's try chucking a ball. Probably isn't going to catch him. I'm not optimistic. Yeah, popped right out. We're going to switch out into uh, our Giratina. How about that? Headbutt after our defense is lowered, and we're gonna lose Ryuk. Solid start to the lock. Alright, Gary. That's so stupid. Oh my god. Alright. Let's hit him with a dragon breath that's probably gonna faint him. Nope, we're good. Alright. This thing has an insane attack stat, and he's lowering our defense, so this is kind of scary. We're just gonna go ahead and chuck a Pokeball. Can we catch this Rampardos on red? Popped right out of it. I'm kind of- is- I don't even know if Headbutt can hit us. Is that a- that's a normal type move, right? Because Giratina is Dragon Ghost, right? I doubt we're gonna catch this thing. And we lost Ryu all for that.
All right, I guess we got ourselves a Rampartos. So it was not for nothing that we lost Ryuk, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> bless this, bless this Rampartos that we just found. Is the head butt Pokemon. Not even, not even the same word. Literally head and butt. So that's what he's about, he's about head and butt. Take that as you will. Take that for the, the X-rated version, take that for the PG version. Whatever you want to take that as, you take it as that. If two were to smash their heads together, their foot-thick skulls would keep them from fading. Give a nickname to Rampardos. <clears throat> yeah. I think we're gonna go ahead and, uh, let's see, Rampardos, it's a male. Male Rampardos. My first instinct is to name this thing A-Drive after the St. Louis Rampardos. You know what, let's just do that. We're referencing Poketubers in this playthrough. So we're gonna go with a drive. Uh, why am I using this? I can click. Ah, shit. Alright. Eh. No, why am I so bad at spelling? It's not even really spelled the same way, but whatever. A drive has joined the squad. So we're rocking out with a Rampardos and a Garantina, ladies and gents. I don't know if I should just end the playthrough here. Well, uh, the episode here, I should say. Oh, what are we gonna run into? Another star meme. I'm really having trouble choosing a uh, stopping point for this episode, but it's whatever. We're having fun. Ain't no thing. Ain't no nothing. I'm sure you guys have missed me. Or at least I like to imagine you did. Probably not, though. Bleah. Oh, is this our first trainer battle? I guess we're gonna stop the episode when we get to the next town. You're a Pokemon trainer and so am I. Alright, Smith, so battle me must. We must. <laughs> You are challenged by Engineer Alex, sending out his pine cone. <clears throat> That's fine, I've got a Gary. How about that, bruh? So let's fight. We're gonna use Dragon Breath. Protect. You're real cool, bruh. You're real cool. Let's try that again. Oh my goodness, the double protect on the pine cone. Let's try again. Nope, no triple protect for you because you ain't MLG like me, bruh. Fram, 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 fram. Nope, not, not a one hit KO. Oh my god, the Protect Spam. The Protect Spam is just so fun. We're just gonna tap the crap out of that button then. Tapping the crap out of it. Oh my gosh, finally. All right, blow this thing back. It's a crit. Cool. Are we gonna gain a level? Probably not. We defeated Engineer Alex. Let's keep on rolling. Let's see. Oh, we got another battle. You know what? I think it might be time to stop this episode. It's kind of going on for a while. It's We're at 40 minutes, so. If you guys did enjoy this episode, definitely drop me a like down below. I definitely appreciate it. It always helps to do that, especially on the first episode of a series. Especially my first episode of a series coming back after a long hiatus. So, I do want to say it's good to be back. I love you guys. I'm looking forward to the rest of this series. Uh, we're going to have fun with it. We're probably going to do some uh, name our encounters as we go on. But for now, that's going to be in the end of this episode. I want to thank you guys again for watching. I appreciate you. I love you. Bless you. My name is Dylan, a.k.a. Ducks. Stay lame.